couple days ago, Microsoft apparently had a leak of basically like a Surface Duo Go, a mid-range Surface Duo. Now, the design of this Surface Duo device that leaked in picture is on eBay apparently, and it was already sold from Windows Central. Apparently looked like this. It looked like the original Surface Duo flat screen. Um, it pretty much had the same design, only the outside of it was apparently not glass. It was actually like a polycarbonate or a plastic. It was more rounded on the backs and the outsides and also had a dual camera setup on it as well. Um, again, it was a mid-range Surface Duo. Apparently it was uh, actually supposed to be um, like under a thousand dollars roughly, or it could have been under a thousand dollars, but actually came out and it would have come out this year or very soon in the next couple of months. But apparently Microsoft scrapped it Again, there's no confirmation that Microsoft scrapped such a device, um, but according to sources from Windows Central, it looks like those devices were scrapped altogether and a person bought one actually on eBay, which is kind of wild. So already we know that this Surface Duo here was terribly underpowered, the first Surface Duo. I don't have the second one. This Surface Duo here that I have was terribly underpowered for the amount of screens that it had, two screens, and it wasn't even using a flagship chip. Um, and then this uh, Surface Duo Go, Surface Duo SE, whatever you want to call it, um, that device was even lower powered. Now, we didn't know we can go even lower power than what the original one already was. Um, and yet it was going to come out. So already now we can, can kind of know that Surface Duo 3, uh, apparently, according to Windows Central, Surface Duo 3 might not be coming this year in September like it usually comes out every year. We might be waiting until 2023 release date, which is fine with me in my opinion. If they can iron out all the kinks, maybe include wireless charging, Microsoft wireless charging, uh, that would be dope for me. Um, so the question is, it's a quick video, but the question is, what do you think? Would you have bought a Surface Duo? In fact, before I even finish the video with that, did you pick up a Surface Duo 1 like I did? Uh, on that sale from buydig.com, I think earlier this year, about March or earlier this year, or probably even earlier than that. I've had the Surface Duo for a while, so since last year. Uh, did you pick one up when you could get a Surface Duo AT&T model locked? Um, a 128, I believe, is what I paid for, and I got it for, I believe, 349 or so. Did you buy one? Uh, and do you like it? Do you like, for the price you paid, do you like it versus those who bought it full price at $1,000, $1,400? Because, Apparently this Surface Duo Go is what I'm calling it. This one would have been, let's say if it's a mid-range device, knowing from Microsoft and their Surface Duo flagships are like 1400 minimum or 1399 minimum. Surface Duo Go probably could have been like, I don't know, 799. That could have been kind of up there for mid-range, but OnePlus does it. It could have been like 799 for a Surface Duo Go or if we were lucky, you know, and it did come out and it came out at an ideal price. The ideal price I would love is like, I don't know, $5.99, but I doubt that would happen because of the dual screen nature of it. We don't see budget folding phones yet. Um, so I can assume $7.99 for Surface Duo Go. Would you pay for that? Um, and do you think you'd be satisfied with that? That's my question uh, overall. Uh, one, did you pick up one of these original Surface Duos and have you picked one up? when it's so cheap right now, uh, not from Microsoft, but from a third party. And two, would you buy Surface Duo Go uh, at like $7.99, $6.99 if you could? Let me know in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys in the next one.